Yeah, I'd have to kind of tell you not to get too, not to feel all that, you know, not to get too down on yourself. If it, you didn't have a good day, you good, good two yeah. weeks or anything. Yeah, my dad's big on that. Um, you know, you look at you look at pretty much everyone's everyone's careers when it's all said and done, and and there were stretches where they struggled, and you know it happened to be it happened to be at the beginning for me, and you know there were there were small reasons for that, and looking back, there's some tweaks that I'm gonna make, you know, routine stuff, body stuff, and, and how my how my process, how I go about that, and I think that's all part of the learning process, and at the end of the day, that's that's what makes it fun. It's also what makes it frustrating at times. It's, and uh, that's why baseball is so special, I guess. Do you have expectations to be here at some point this year? Here, pitching here. Of course, yeah. I mean, um, I don't think that expectation ever changes. And um, Obviously, there are things things out of my control when it comes to that, but there's a lot that's in my control. And, um, that's a broad that's a broad goal, and I don't really focus on that. But, yeah, when it's all said and done, I have, I have really high expectations for myself. And, and uh, it comes down to the day to day, just just getting better every day. Jack, what did so? You said you learned a ton. I, I assume that when the year was over, you took a little bit of time to catch your breath. Mm-hmm. When you did, what was your big takeaway from your first full season? I think it just came down to, for me, trying to do too much. It was the first year where where baseball was, you know, my profession, and uh, no longer an amateur baseball player and. That was, you know, focus number one. In the past, it had been school and and uh, you know teammates and all that. And now it's it's your career. You, gotta, you know, you're getting you're getting paid to do this. So so I think it came down to a lot of the times I I really got in the weeds with, you know, why was that game bad? What was what, what were the analytics saying? Too much. I got too uh, too bought into the I guess the details that that really uh, take away from just the natural natural competitiveness and. And uh, it is a craft, but it's also, you know, the primal compete of it. And uh, I think that's more what, I, what I'm getting back to now. And it's less overthinking and overworking. It's, it's doing what I have to do and, and being efficient with that. So it, it, there's, there's an element that comes with like, all right, there's going to be, a, there was a ton of information thrown at you at Vanderbilt yeah. too. But there's going to be a ton of information thrown at you, and at some point in time, you've got to be able to put some of it aside and just go out and say, "I'm going to win." Mm-hmm. And a lot of it's a lot of it's simple. A lot of it comes from looking back at the year. Comes from my body and the way it's moving, and that's what I was just saying. Is this off season? The beginning of my focus was strictly body stuff. Put on some muscle, put some weight back on, and and focus on that kind of thing. And then after that, it was a mechanical thing, a mechanical focus. Made some small tweaks, some small adjustments that I think I think make a big difference. And you can you can get in the weeds with you know why is my fastball metrics this and not this? Why was my slider not doing this or this? But a lot of it comes back to the body and the way my mechanics are moving. And um, those small adjustments I think have kind of taken care of all the other stuff that I would have liked to work on. So sometimes it's just coming back to the root of it, I think. Keep it simple, stupid. Yep. Simplicity is, is big for me because um, I'm definitely a thinker in every in every part of every part of life. So uh, so if I could keep it simple, I think that's the best way to do it. Was there a point where you thought back to the season and said that's not me. Or is it like, is there was there something that stuck with you? that's like this is not who I am. I wouldn't say there was there was one point. I think just throughout the throughout the year, um, the pro ball schedule is obviously very different than the than the college baseball schedule. And I guess it just it just took the full season for me to finally like step back and realize like there are certain things that I have to. I have to do in my routine that are different than college. Like, it's a it's a different schedule. You're at the field every day for a game. It's not it's not three games a week, and and um, you still have to take you have to take care of your own business, and at the same time, while you're doing that, not do too much. So it's, right. it's finding a happy medium. I've heard that you look like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that a lot. I've gotten my mom too, though. Some oh, people really? say I look like my mom. Yeah, for I the most like, part, it's my dad. Yeah. <laughs> what was the, what was the, the year been like for you to, to start it out the way you have, and just talk about this, what, what this year's been like for you? Yeah, I mean it's been it's been.
been a roller coaster in a lot of ways. Um, this season, obviously, I have super high expectations for myself, and um, I mean, I didn't, I didn't meet those this year. But there's so much that I learned, and I think I'll be better for it in the long run. And the way that I've approached this off season, I think, has been, has been super productive, and I'm, I'm lucky to be surrounded by, you know, some, some, some really cool people in the off season, and, and some people that I trust, and their ideas are, are really helpful. And um, from a body standpoint, a mechanical standpoint, and and uh, overall pitch repertoire standpoint, I think I think it's been a super productive off season, and I'm looking forward to, to the season this year. With the off season acquisitions that the Ravens have made, does it give you promise that you guys can take this to the next level? Yeah, I mean, I think I think everybody in the organization has has all the trust in the world and in uh, the front office here, and they do an amazing job of really creating a winning culture. I think it's. It's kind of drilled in us from from the lowest levels of the minor leagues to the top. It seems like that that we want to win, and and everybody wants to win. And if if you don't, it's kind of like, what are you doing here? Because um, I think that's that's the uh, overarching goal of of everyone within the organization, and and that's a really cool thing to know that you know everybody's everybody's there for for the same purpose, whether you're you know in the low levels of the minor leagues or in the big leagues, and and uh, the front office just continues to prove that that's what they want to do is win. Looking forward to spring training. Am I? Yeah. Yes, I'm. I'm definitely looking forward to spring training. Um, obviously, last year that was my first ever spring training. It was kind of a whirlwind getting to know all the staff members, all the new people, um, tons of new faces, and we were in Arizona last week for a mini camp, and it's already like a lot more comfortable knowing everybody, kind of knowing knowing what I'm what I'm expecting going into Arizona and uh, I'm excited for that. What, what message, if any, that you can share with us that, the, that your new skipper has shared with you guys about his vision for this team? That's what vision, your new manager, what has he, what has been his message to you or have you met with him and what? I actually haven't. I haven't met with, or I haven't met um, Bruce Bochy yet, but uh, but Mike Maddox has has been uh, really awesome to us. This week he he talked to the pitchers. We kind of just met, and it was sort of like, a, what does it look like when you're in the big leagues? The whole the scouting meetings, the conversations that you have, and um, I think that's a really special thing to have, and um, sort of to know what to expect. Can you just talk about that relationship you hope to develop with him, knowing his track record of developing pitchers and the success that they had here when he was here? Yeah, I mean. I mean, my, having a guy like Mike Maddox on, on the big league staff is, is obviously a huge advantage for everyone to have, and, and he's made it pretty clear that he's, he's, he's willing to help not just the big leaguers. I mean, it's, it's five of us, I think, here, the pitchers right now, the minor league guys, and, and uh, he's been super communicative and super helpful, and I think um, that's a really special thing because obviously he has, he has an amazing track record developing young pitchers, and, and uh, I guess allowing pitchers to reach their their highest potential in the, at the big league level. So um, I think that's a special thing, and it's something to look forward to. Talk about Rocker back here, your, your relationship, and knowing that you guys are in the same organization and just coming up together. Yeah, I think that's that's a super special thing, and that not a lot of people get to experience. Uh, what we had at Vandy, Kamar and I together, and. Uh, Honestly, our, our whole team at Vanderbilt, that was, that was a really special team and, and there was a lot of friendly competition and, and uh, we wanted to win. And I think that's, that's kind of similar to the vision that the Rangers have, have built and, and laid out. And I think it's really cool to have, have someone like Kumar who, who was there from day one at Vanderbilt. And, um, we kind of saw each other grow um, at Vanderbilt and watched each other compete for, for a couple years there. And now to be back together in the same organization is cool. Can you see yourself you? pictured on, um, in the rotation here, and who would be the ahead of each other in, in that rotation? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I'd like to think that he would say he'd be ahead of me in the rotation, and I'd, I'd say I'd be ahead of him in the rotation. But um, I mean, that's just all. That's all semantics, and that's all um, stuff that we can't control. But. Um, I mean, I think the, the number one thing is we both want to help the team win, and, and uh, if we're able to do that, we're both happy. Is there any nerves last year when you first began uh, throughout the year, or are you just, that, that's something that never bothers you, just taking them out? I wouldn't say so. I think um, a lot of times general nerves about like about a season come from, come from outside expectations and perspectives, and, 
and I don't worry too much about it outside expectations because um, my expectations for myself are, are about as high as high as they'll come so if I'm not reaching my own expectations I'm gonna be disappointed in myself and if I am I'm gonna be satisfied so so what others seem to expect or, or think about um, me or the progress I'm making doesn't really seem to concern me very much. Thank Appreciate you. it, man. Appreciate Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.